<clears throat> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carrie. This channel is all about Hawaii food and family. And first of all, I hope everyone's doing well. It's been a little bit. I've um, been busy just with traveling and now that we are home from pretty much I think all the traveling that we'll be doing this year, I can kind of take a breather, get back into things and catch you up on how everything's been going. So after Japan, uh, we also went to Disneyland uh, with Reed's family and we were there for a full week, which was a lot of fun, um, but also very crowded and busy, which I'll put some clips in of how it was, but Ellie just loved going to Disneyland and th this was her second time going because we did go once in like for a day in August, but like this time like two months later she's such a different kid there I mean she finally understands who Mickey Mouse is now and she loves riding the ride and she really really loved it's a small world like she, we rode that three times we rode the carousel twice and so <clears throat> overall um, we just had the best time and you know just spending time with family uh, being together I think was really really important Ellie now also is starting to really enjoy like spending time with her cousins and she really is starting to understand how to play with people which has been a lot of fun stressful as well because she's always like walking around and trying to get you know into everything um but yeah just to see now her personality is just really starting to come out and honestly it's just been a lot of fun it's been a lot of fun being a parent it's been a lot of fun uh, with Peace in Your Wings and directing that and we also have one more run of Peace in Your Wings. Like, it's not, it's like the musical that doesn't end but we will be showing Peace in Your Wings one more time at Mauna Lua High School here on Oahu. Um, if you are on Oahu and you are interested in seeing the show, so we're going to be doing all these school performances of Peace in Your Wings um, <clears throat> throughout the weekdays but there are two shows specifically for the public on November 4. If you are interested and you want to come and see it, uh, we will be, yeah, at Moana Little High School. And they have a brand new theater there and it's really, really beautiful. And um, we've never done a show there. So I'm really excited to see how this run and this show is going to go. Um, but yeah, it, it, I think for this will be the last show showing of peace in your wings for 2023 tonight is going to be a lot of fun because since i miss japan so much i really wanted to make one of my favorite dishes and invite my family over or my sisters my parents unfortunately they're they're busy tonight but my sisters and their families will be coming over and we're going to be making okonomiyaki so keep watching because we've made this on the channel before but it is two and a half years later and so I'm hoping that it'll be just as good and um, we're also going to be making yakisoba with our okonomiyaki just because uh, I miss all those flavors so much when we were in Japan and, we and let me know in the comments too if you love okonomiyaki as much as I do my favorite place on Oahu to have okonomiyaki is Chibos to me it's like they just serve the best okonomiyaki anyway keep watching and Come along as we prepare for Okonomiyaki night. Yay!
So as we prep for okonomiyaki, I'm gonna have Reed help me just cut a little bit of the cabbage first. He wants me to be the cabbage cutter, which I am totally fine doing, but honestly, because he cut the cabbage the last time, and so I want to see how he did it, and then I will follow his directions. I cut the cabbage, but she cuts the cheese all the time. We're gonna be doing about six cups, I believe, of cabbage. Wow, good job. I guess it's my turn. So we are currently prepping our cabbage and our um, green onion for the okonomiyaki tonight. Hi. <laughs> and I just kind of wanted to bring on Reed here and Ellie and just chat a little bit about how things have been going and how it's been traveling with a toddler. Um, we went on, I think it was like six trips this year. So it's been kind of a lot of traveling for Ellie. And so we learned a lot for sure. Um, but I did write a blog post. If you follow my blog, Hawaii Food and Family, you can read what I learned there. But I wanted to ask Reed what he learned when it came to traveling with a toddler. And she definitely is a toddler now. She's running around, she's talking, she has her own opinions. She falls. She falls, I know. That was, that's from last night. But. What, so what have you learned about traveling with a toddler? That she's fun to travel with, but we have to be patient. Mm -hmm. yeah. have to be patient. Uh, uh. Yeah, she has an opinion, and a lot of times we have to do what's best for Ellie. Even if that means we can't stay out very long, we have to go back and rest. Yeah, yeah. And I think Carrie and I are used to traveling by ourselves, yeah. like with just the two of us. So. It's a little different having to adjust to a third person, but you make it worth it, yeah? Good fun. And yeah. we, I feel like we look at traveling differently now because we look at it through the perspective of her eyes. Hey. So we My try head. to find a lot of kid-friendly things or playgrounds or parks or other experiences oh. that, you know, to do than what we would do before. I mean, obviously that makes sense, but we, you know, we never found joy in going to like a kids museum or just spending time on a playground. But <clears throat> what would you say the most challenging part was what traveling with um, the amount of luggage that we have to take with us? Oh, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> so we went from having maybe one bag each to now we have like five or six bags because of Ellie. And we got to bring a bed and her stroller and all mm. her food, and it's a lot. So, what is the one more question for you, Reed? What do you miss? Because we, we went to Japan twice. We got to go to Japan twice this year, which I feel very lucky about. But what do you miss about Japan? I don't know. So everything. I didn't want to leave the, the last time we were there. Not just the food, just everybody was nice and the culture and it was a great place. I want to go back. So yeah. before everybody comes, I wanted to prep our okonomiyaki batter and get it all ready. Um, to cook with so we have about three. I'm sorry about six cups of cabbage here And we're gonna be in for the batter. We're gonna be including our flour mixture, which I Pre-bought from with okonomiyaki flour and if you want to have if or if you want to See how we made this from scratch. I do have a video on that as well So I'll put that in the link uh, in the description box below uh, but Today we're gonna cut some corners and we're gonna be adding about one cup of flour to this mixture, I mean this to the cabbage. <clears throat> we're also gonna be adding in four eggs. 
here. And the way we're making it tonight is we're gonna be using some pork. Uh, this is, we just bought regular, really thinly sliced pieces of pork. And then we're also gonna be putting in some mochi and cheese. So I have the four eggs, I have the one cup of flour, and I'm gonna add one cup of water as well. We also are gonna be adding in some green onions. All the toppings, like the cheese and the mochi and the pork, uh, we're actually gonna be putting later on when we make the pancake. So we're just making the batter right now. So if you recently went to Japan, because I feel like a lot of people recently went to Japan, let me know if you ate okonomiyaki and how you liked, or how you like your okonomiyaki. Yeah, so we're just adding this in because when I made it from scratch a couple years ago, um, we added this in the batter, and this is actually not on the recipe here on the on the package, but this is like an added addition that we liked. It just adds like a little bit of flavor and crunch. So these are tempura flakes. We're not adding in things like salt and pepper because I believe it's all in the the mix. So in a little while, we are going to put this on the grill, and we are going to make beautiful okonomiyaki. While I'm doing this, uh, Reed is going to start making yakisoba. We're gonna be making yakisoba now. I thought she just blocks the cook. It's, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's my channel. So Reed here is gonna show us what he puts in his yakisoba. What do you put? So we're just adding carrots, onions, and cabbage. No meat because we have the okonomiyaki and show you chicken tonight. Okay, so we're gonna start by adding in the denser vegetables. We're gonna start by adding in the denser vegetables like the onions, the carrots, and um, the cabbage. And actually, I added in too much because we have two different ones that we're making. So let me just take some out. Okay, so that's the onions, there's the carrots. Did you eat yakisoba in Japan? I think we did at 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. Talk about 7-Eleven in Japan. Like, what, what, what is so cool about it? What I mean, is so fascinating? What isn't cool about it? It's cheap, it's fast and convenient, and it's really good food. Yeah. So we're gonna let this soften a little bit, and then we're gonna add the noodles, and mm -hmm. then the yakisoba sauce. Okay, so we had pre-boiled two, two different types of noodles, the yakisoba noodle, and then there's an udon noodle that's uh, almost done. So Carrie wanted two different types, so we're gonna try with both noodles. I'm gonna add the yakisoba noodles to start. And you wanna boil them al dente, so not like, so they're really soft. And then um, I made my own yakisoba sauce using Worcestershire, um, oyster sauce, some ketchup, some sugar, and some shoyu. So I'm going to try this. stuff if you wanted but for our purposes because we already have chicken we're just gonna do this. Whoa mm -hmm. it's very good. I like the homemade sauce. I think I actually could use more sauce. 
But it's good. It's sweet, savory. The vegetables are not like too soft. Okay, now we have guests over. We have our well, thanks for becoming Japanese. Guests. Japanese, um, what would I say? Japanese our, person. <laughs> our knowledgeable Japanese person who lived in Japan before, who's gonna help make the okonomiyaki. Now that we're back from Japan, because we all went to Japan together a little while, a couple weeks ago, um, how did it feel to go back to your old stopping grounds? Um, it was it was nice. I mean, it's been a while. It's been a long time since we were in Japan, and it's changed a lot. It's gotten more modernized, more Western. Like all the bathrooms that we saw or we went to were, they had Western toilets with bidets, which is very nice. Yeah, in the train stations. In the train stations. Before it wasn't like that. Um, yeah, I mean, it just, it was, it has developed since the time that we were there. So, yeah. it's nice. Does it make you want to go back again? Of course. Absolutely. Okay, so why don't we start? So, what? What is the process of making okonomiyaki? <clears throat> so thank you for mixing the, the batter because that's that's a big part of it. Um, but basically okonomi means like leftovers. So actually the, um, I guess in okonomiyaki the idea is that you actually could put anything in here, right? Put like all your leftover stuff. And it's it's like a Japanese pancake. So you just um, put it together with some flour and um, there's probably a maimo in the in the mix, the mix that, you bought, yeah. that kind of keeps it together with the egg thank you um and then yeah just fry it all right you should speak katakana <clears throat> spatula supatula supatula <laughs> so when we are in japan <laughs> if you missed our vlogs um <clears throat> kathy wanted to take us to a specific okonomiyaki restaurant how long did it take us to find it it probably took about a couple mm -hmm. what is going on right now going to go to Okonomiyaki, but we don't know where it is. How long have we been wait, trying to find it? 6.15. What time is it now? 6.50. <laughs> but it's it's difficult because we have the strollers, we have a lot of people who are hungry, and there's not always like a direct way to get anywhere, especially we didn't even know where we were going. So <clears throat> after many attempts, um, going here and there, upstairs, downstairs, going on elevators. We finally found it, and it was, it's fuge, it's called Fugetsu. It's a chain, but it's really, really. So good. did you Fugetsu where it was? <laughs> I didn't. I, I had never been to that one because there's many, there's other ones, but that was a nice one. It had a nice view, right? It was like. A, but I forgot to tell you guys that you had to press a button to call the. <laughs> I know we were waiting for like service, and Sorry. She's like, oh, yeah, we thought they Fugetsu us. <laughs> we did think that we yeah. What was your favorite memory or what was your favorite part of going to Japan? Is that um, what was my favorite time? One, one of my favorite memories was visiting, um, going to Otafuku to do this, to learn how to make the okonomiyaki with the cast and crew. That was really fun. We got to um, experience cooking live with every with learning how to make the oh. Hiroshima yaki actually. That's where that is. Is. They're famous. So that's what we learned firsthand from the so what it yaki. What so what tips do you have about making? How do you make it perfect? Um well we didn't make this we made the the um, Hiroshima style. Hiroshima style. Noodles. 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 It's just about putting in the right amount of things so that everything cooks evenly. Oh. So you make sure that you don't put too much, that it's just like, you know, you gotta make sure it's even. So <laughs> we were there to do a show called Peace on Your Wings in Hiroshima. And Jenny is kind of like the, her and Lori are kind of like the ones that kind of spearhead, spearheaded the whole project. So how do you think that the whole thing went overall? Um, I thought it was pretty, um, you know, a pretty amazing experience for everybody involved. It was kind of like, this is like the big, 
the big show, I mean, I mean, everything that has been done up until that point and everything that will be done after this was kind of like, um, everything done after this would be like icing on the cake, but this mm -hmm. was kind of like the big, I guess, goal or dream to have the show done in Hiroshima, Hiroshima and also to, you know, to be accepted by the people of Hiroshima. So they were so gracious and kind and, um, and just knowing that how much the show meant to them, I think was just very fulfilling, I think, for everybody. We, feel, we all feel good about the show now, moving forward, that um, that the story is okay and that, that we're able to, you know, do their story, be able to tell their story and, and feel good about it because I think they were very appreciative and I think that's something that was really important because it's such a important part of history that, you know, we're just Americans putting together the story that we are doing based on our own research from the internet and from the book, books that we've read, but we were there firsthand. We were, you know, we're not from Japan. We're not, we don't have relatives. We don't have stories from, from past generations to, to go by. So this is all just, it's all what we've read. See? See? You want to see? What's that? It's salad. 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 Okonomiyaki. You want to see the salad? <laughs> Hi. Hi, cousin. <laughs> you know what's that? <laughs> what's that? What's that? Okonomiyaki. Say that. Okono. It's a word to say. <laughs> Little plates all over. So good, he can't talk. Well, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just doing something. <laughs> See, I'm not a professional. The cabbage flavor is actually adds a lot. The tang of the mayonnaise, kupi. Has to be kupi mayonnaise. And when you blow on it, don't blow the <laughs> bonito flakes off the plate <laughs> because I'm very messy. It's delicious. Do you want nori? It's missing. The owl nori. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Do it like this. Really good. This is for the color. Do it like this. You're not doing it. I can't do that. <laughs> This is one that we made actually on the stove, not in Kathy's special pan. Yes, there's more mochi. Okay. Mm. Good. Oh, yeah. This is restaurant quality. This is so good. Mmm. How's the noodles, kids? Is it good? How's the noodles? Is it tastes good?